hello friends welcome to another video in the series of setting up ci cd using github actions for android application in last video we discussed in detail about the overall content of this series and uh, we left at this part where we discussed about github actions and we uh, set up a hello world github action for our android application but today uh, we will talk about first check in our CI process that is lint. So we'll modify our GitHub action to run the lint check and publish the report on the GitHub as an artifact. So let's dive right in. So as you remember, we, in the last video, we created this main.yaml file where our workflow name is CI and we triggered the github action on the push and pull request on the master branch and this was the job job name was build and these were the steps in that job now let's go to the code and let's run this lint debug command so this is the critical command that will run the lint check on the overall code base and give us an report let me run this and because I ran it earlier it's pretty quick and now let's take a look at the HTML report that is that it has generated and we see there are around 53 warnings but no error right now and that's why our check is passing so we are good with that and also let's take a look at the code base of this application what I have done is I have cleaned up this file there were a lot of comments and I have created the lint job as well and now we can discuss this job in detail uh, we just need an Ubuntu machine to run this command and the first step as we discussed last time as well will be to check out the code base because uh, we want our code base to be present on this machine to run any cradle command on it so that's why checking out the code base is the first command then the second command is to run the lint and for that we are using the cradle command that we just saw in the terminal as well where we ran the command and then at the last we want to publish the report and that is an HTML report so we'll uh, use this upload artifact version 2 action which is already present and we will upload this report with the name of index.html and this is the path of the report where the github action will find it to upload and if you see this path is uh, nothing but the path of our report here from this location we just need to give the relative path and we will be good so now let's uh, commit this code and push it to github and let's see how github handles it and how it runs the check so let me just add it I'll commit I will just say added lint check oh, and I will push it to master and remember since we have set up the workflow to run on push on the master branch so the moment I will push it will start running the check so I am pushing the code and let's wait for it to push ok the code has been pushed now let's go to our expense manager and this is the commit that we just pushed and you have start seeing the yellow dot now if I click on this so we can see our workflow and the job name lint it has set up the job and code is also check out, checked out now it's running the com command cattle command using the version 6.1.1 because that's what we have in our gradle wrapper now 
let's wait for it to finish because it will uh, download the cradle then set up the project and then it will start running it and currently it's running it has started executing the lint command and since it's running afresh so it will do all the things like compiling the code base and uh, other tasks that are dependent on the lint check and once that is done we should see a green tick saying that everything passed yeah so we can see that our github action has passed and we should also see an artifact so if you notice we have this index.html over here and if i click on this it will download the file and it will always download it as a zip we'll just open it and voila we can see the report over here so that's how we can set up the lint check on the android application and we can verify that none of the lint errors are there in the newly pushed code base so this is it for the lint check and we can have a look at the code again so that we are a bit clear so again the workflow name is ci and on these two events we are running this job called lint and we are running it on ubuntu machine and first we are checking out the code base then we are running this cradle w command to run the lint and then we are uploading the artifact to github so that's all for this video uh, with this we have completed our first check which is lint in the next video we will discuss about unit testing till then happy coding